In the last episode of Minecraft Comes Alive. Finally arrived. I think. These are all guards. And they seem like they're busy looking for something. Or someone. Ugh. I can't thoroughly examine the temple when everybody's just standing around. I'll just come back another time. Hey, Addy! Come on! Again, you can't keep blaming me for what happened. No one's gonna help me. What's wrong with me? I can't do anything right. I couldn't find anyone. I couldn't save anyone. I can't even catch a single fish. Ugh. This is stressing me out. Forget this. I hate fishing. I don't even know why I went fishing today. I figured it would calm me down a bit. But that didn't work out! What can I do? What can I do? Oh, hi guys, I don't feel like talking, so... Yeah, bye. Well, I still have these fish from a long time ago. I should probably cook them as soon as I can. You know what? Maybe I should check up on the desert temple. I didn't take a good look at it. Maybe there's something I missed. Something useful. That's it! What am I waiting for? I need to check it out. Wait a minute. Someone's in there. Who is that? Oh? I didn't know he traveled all the way over here. I need to talk to him. Whoa. I don't remember this lava pit here. Oh! Oh! Oh, hey, Carlo. I knew you'd come. What? How'd you know that? Well, I'm a fortune teller, if you don't remember. Right. So where's your crystal ball? I thought you needed it. Oh. Ha. <sighs> okay, fine. I lied. What are you doing here, anyway? Well, when I arrived here last night, there was a lot of people here. So when it calmed down a bit, I came here to investigate. I was just about to do the same. Can we search this place together? Yeah, sure, I suppose. I already searched this room. All that's left is upstairs. Well, that's where we're heading then. Did you find anything down there? No. Besides all the damage from a TNT explosion, I did not find anything useful. Oh, so you went down in the pit? What? No! Why would I do that? There's no way out of there. That would be the first place I looked. Well then, you go. I'm not going down there without any proper equipment. Equipment? What are you talking about? You don't need equipment. All you need is a bunch of dirt. Dirt? Yes, dirt. Follow me, we're gonna go get some. Uh, okay, fine. But I can't get my robes all dirty. Why not? Do I even have to answer that question? Just look at them. It's nice and shiny and silky. Uh... Yeah. Whatever you say. My hair is nice and shiny and silky and I don't care if it gets dirty. It's not the same thing. And besides, your hair is not nice and shiny and silky. It looks like a dirty mop. Sure. Whoa! Did you see how close that was? Relax, it's just lightning. Oh yeah? Well then, follow me home. What? No! Did you not see how dirty your house is? Not to mention it's tiny. Oh my god. The light.
lightning's really bad. But there's nothing in the desert. Don't you find that a little weird? No, not really. But that's just how the world works, you know? Yeah, I guess. Hey, it looks all clear now. Yeah, come on, let's go. I need to go home. Oh, nope, nope! It's not clear, I was wrong. Oh, great. I just remembered something. And what is that? I left my crystal ball outside, now it's all wet. Okay, how is that a bad thing? And wait a minute, wasn't it in your tent earlier? Yes, it's a bad thing. I just polished it yesterday. And I sort of relocated your old tent. My old tent? But that's in the mountains. Yeah, I found it. By the way, I recommend you make bigger tents in the future. Whoa. Aren't you a little, you know, scared with all the lightning? Not really. Lightning and thunder are all part of nature. There's nothing to be scared of, really. Oh, come on. You're telling me you're not scared at all? No, I'm not. I've dealt with a lot of thunder before. You're going to have to get used to this in three, two, one. Oh my god. Really, O? Do you really have to do that? What? I'm just letting you know you have to get used to it. Like right now. <laughs> okay, I'm just joking. Oh, just shut up. Just, just shut up. You're being a little scary right now. I wasn't really doing it to frighten you. I was sort of just trying to toughen you up. Ah, whatever. Hey, oh, I need to go home and get some tools. Do you want to come with me? Um, no, it's still raining. I'll just stay here and wait for you. Okay, well, suit yourself. Hey, oh. Oh, what if I expand the house a bit? Yeah, I suppose that's acceptable. But I have to grab all my belongings from the tent first. Okay then, go grab all your crap and meet me at my house tomorrow. We're gonna build a new one. Hey, wait! Uh, I'm just gonna pretend I didn't hear him. I just, I just need to get home. The lightning is really freaking me out. And O was being a little creepy at the end there. But I, I still trust him, I guess. He's trying to help. I'll take all the help I can get. I'm almost home. Okay, here we go. Okay, I feel a lot safer now that I'm in a house. Hopefully the lightning is not gonna, not gonna crash through my house my biggest fear. I should probably go to sleep. Can I really sleep with all the lightning? I don't know. Annoying Carlo. I know he heard me, but he just kept running off. Huh? Who's that over there? What does she think she's doing? Wait a minute. I feel like I saw her before. Is she the person in my vision? If that's the case, I have to sneak up on her. She might be dangerous. Wait, I don't see her. Oh, she better not be near my crystal ball. Where is she? Where'd she go? What? What's going on here? Where could she have gone? That was strange. 